In this short demonstration, I'll show you how to plot a sine function with a negative amplitude and a phase shift. This is question three of three of this series. As with all these types of questions, you need to first indicate and point out your A, B, and C value. Your A value is always the one right next to your trigonometric function sine. So in our case, our A value is negative or negative 1. So let's write that down. Our amplitude is negative 1, but of course amplitude is always absolute of the number. So in our case, it's the absolute of 1, negative 1, which gives us an amplitude of 1. Next, we have to indicate our B value, and our B value is 2. The B value is always the coefficient of the variable. And finally, the C value, which enables us to find the phase shift, is negative 55. Now, since our C value is in degrees, this equation is configured in degrees, not in radians. So, to find the period, we will be using this formula rather than this one. So let's continue to find our period now. Period is equal to 360 degrees divided by 2. Our period therefore is equal to 180 degrees per cycle. I'm going to illustrate this some point from the origin right here, 180 degrees. And at the same time, what I'm going to do is divide this number by 4. And there's a reason I do this. If I divide this number by 4, I end up with 45. The reason why I do this is because this gives us our major intervals. This is being 45 degrees, 90, 135, and finally 180. Next, what we'll need to do is plot a sine function. And we will use one, two, three, four boxes as our main intervals for the y-axis. And if we were to plot the sine without the phase shift, it would look like this. Start at zero, make our way up to one, down here, all the way back to negative 1 and back to 180. And if we connect these points, we get a sine curve that looks like this. Two very important features are, have not been applied to this graph yet. If you recall, your A value was negative 1. If your A value is negative, you will have to flip the function. What I mean by that is this point goes down here, this point goes up here, and we have the mirror image of what we had originally. So this point would get flipped here. This point stays the same. That point stays the same. This point flips up here. And this point stays the way it is. So, so far, the more accurate graph of the two is the black one. We still need to find the phase shift. And the phase shift can be found by using this formula. So, I'll represent phase shift as PS, negative C over B. Our C value was determined as negative 55. Now, don't forget there's a negative that comes with the formula itself. So the negative will be placed right there. So we have two negatives side by side. And our B value is 2. So negative 55 and a negative beside it make it positive 55 divided by 2. And the answer to that will be 27 and a half degrees. That means every one of those major points will be shifted 27 and a half degrees to the right. This point right here moves 27 degrees to the right. And 
since we're not being entirely accurate, we can assume that 27 and a half will be somewhere here. And this will be shifted 27 to the right. So let's be accurate according, because we moved three blocks, right? So we should also move three blocks here. And this point right here moves 27, so three blocks over. This point moves 27, three blocks over. And lastly, this point moves three blocks over. And if we connect these, I'm going to use a really thick marker here. Let's use a better one. Let's use this one. If we connect these, we end up with the following graph. So this thick black line, black curve here, represents y is equal to negative 1 sine 2x minus 55 degrees. There you have it. That is how you graph a sine function that has a negative amplitude and a phase shift. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions related to this, use our website at biology-forums.com. It is a service offered to students um, for homework help. If you have any questions other than math, we also cater to those too. See you soon.